taking a look at banking on the continent today. And from Nairobi, we now cross to Lusaka, where David Chewe, the Chief Executive of the Bankers Association of Zambia, is standing by. David, before we get into banking scenes in uh, Zambia itself, you must have followed the news of the APSA Barclays uh, deal, Barclays Africa deal earlier this week with quite a lot of interest, given your background, having been at Barclays in Zambia for quite some time. Yes, yes, it, it's, it's been something that I've been following up because of the, the size and also the role that uh, APSA and Barclays play in the African economies. Do you think that the local banking uh, community is going to welcome the fact that a, a South African headquartered bank is going to be more involved in the Zambian economy? I think the, the, the something that they will appreciate uh, because over the years APSA has been involved with uh, Zambia's uh, economy even when they, they didn't have a presence before they had the association with Barclays. We were just talking a moment ago to Joshua Oigara from uh, Nairobi, from uh, KCB, and his challenges are to do with internet banking, to do with mobile banking, etc. I guess in Zambia you're at a different development phase. Uh, uh, checks are still quite prevalent. I think it's the same uh, space. It's just that uh, there has been um, a recognition that there are areas outside the industry which required that we pursue this agenda of uh, internet banking, mobile banking, and checks as being part of the package. And what's, uh, what's the health of the Zambian banking system like at the moment? Presumably you haven't been, like the Western world, required bailouts from government. Uh, the, the, the banks in Zambia are largely private banks and uh, Despite the uh, problems that we faced uh, emanating from the U.S. and Europe, the banks have uh, largely remained uh, sound and uh, well capitalized. Question so of we don't see the problem here. Mm, the question, of course, is skills, isn't it? Yeah, that has been recognized as one of the areas, but you may recall that uh, most of the banks in Zambia are from within the region, and therefore the, the skills can actually easily get into the country without necessarily having to go through a lengthy process. The first place that an international bank, uh, international investor will look when they're considering investing in a country is in the banking system or uh, banking shares. Are you finding that foreign investors are starting to sniff around uh, your, the members of your association? Uh, th that's a very difficult question because uh, uh, we're just uh, going through the recapitalization agenda that was driven by the government and it started in 2011. Now banks have got up to the end of this year to recapitalize, meaning that uh, a lot of uh, the interest that we've been seeing, uh, yes, I've seen quite a lot of interest, but with regard to the conclusion of those discussions, uh, we are yet to see that since uh, these investors are also having to talk to the regulators. But I must confess there is interest. So the local bankers needing additional capital have been looking not just within Zambia itself, but externally. That's correct. And, and we've also seen uh, new players wanting to come. New players from? Um, from Gibraltar. China? Uh, ask China because clearly uh, you've had some interesting uh, engagements with China uh, from Zambia lately. No, because we already have a bank of China in Zambia, so there is already that uh, sort of uh, provision for taking care of the Chinese uh, interests. Mm -hmm. uh, the economy generally, yeah. we have seen uh, that there's been some con the difficulties with the copper price, not quite as strong as it was uh, in, in recent years. Uh, are, are things stabilizing? I think they are stable and uh, also you might uh, be aware that the government has been pursuing a diversification agenda. So in the sense uh, with the copper prices having reached the 8,000 uh, level, uh, it was uh, attractive but uh, the question of sustainability was still you know, something that we were aware of and uh, thus the economy continued with the diversification. David, if I uh, understand it correctly, the, uh, the recapitalization of banks has put quite a lot on hold until the end of the year. Uh, you mean for the banks? Well, I mean for mergers and acquisitions, I mean for uh, perhaps new banks coming in, competition, etc. 
I, I, I would like to disagree because what I am aware of is uh, that uh, discussions have continued and uh, some banks have already met the prescribed uh, thresholds whilst the discussions with those that are intending to partner with uh, investors outside the country have also continued and we still have another five months before the end of the year. So I wouldn't agree that uh, things have stalled. What I would uh, like to believe is that things are progressing very well with the involvement of the regulators. So it's becoming even more exciting? It is exciting because none of the banks is going to uh, fall. And we also are aware that uh, the measures and acquisitions uh, might be something that will be obviously exciting for the market if they happen.